So I have got way too many projects going on right now. This was the result of one of the platters that I made. Um, and I had a disaster with the other one um, and threw it away. Um, and I have this big, horrible crease on this one. Um, and I'm not sure if this is really going to stick down. So I'm going to try to fix this. So we will give that a go. Um, because I think it's really nice. This is one of my um, um, oceanic uh, color changing lights and this was kind of flimsy and i was taking it to a friend and it it broke so i'm going to try and fix that so we will fix that see not everything goes according to plan but today we're going to make two clocks so the first thing I'm going to do is, um, what I like about, I'll take the sticker off the back, might be helpful. Here goes Penny, she's about to bark. <laughs> oh, Penny, you really need your own channel where you can just bark. It can be the Penny Barking channel. Um, well, I got these. I didn't get them off Amazon. I got them at Decor, Decor DIY Clocks. And I've already made one, which unfortunately is at my home on the Turks and Caicos Islands. So I'm gonna take the sticker off the back. I'm placing them on four cups because I want the resin to drip through the hole. So take that off and I'll get some help here. Where's my Zacto knife? Be easier. There. And what I want to do is stain them. So I have some wood finish stain here. This is the colour of this one is Jacobean. Sorry. She's just going to keep doing this. So you see how quickly that wood stain, it's really quick to do and it soaks up straight away into the wood. I've got like about, I think I bought about five or six of these. And um, so now we will get on and mix the resin. And by the way, I highly advise you to get a respirator because I have been getting some really bad headaches and I'm pretty convinced it's because of the resin. So I am going to definitely wear this while I mix the resin and take it off now and again when I need to talk to you. So let me go ahead and mix the resin. So the resin is mixed and I am going to begin at the top with the dark blue ocean and the resin will fall through the numbers and 
what it doesn't fall through, I will use a cocktail stick to poke through the holes. And the resin I've used is Naked Fusion Resin. And the pigments I'm using are also Naked Fusion Resin. And I'm using Blue Mist, which is this one. And then this one is Bermuda Blue. Next one I'm going to put on. And then... Those two really mix well together. And then Ocean. Lots of Ocean. And I'm not covering the whole clock, by the way. Excuse the noise in the background. I've got people here doing some stuff. And then the last one is Tropical Sea. And right at the bottom, I'm just going to put a little bit of clear. To make it look like Surf. And then lastly, I'm going to use my Pinata white alcohol ink. To just drizzle in the clear. That's all I'm going to do. And then take my heat gun. And that is pretty much it. So I just have a cocktail stick, excuse me, I'm over here. Get a cocktail stick. Just go round all the numbers, make sure that they're not all clogged up with resin. And while this is drying, I will be finding my clock parts. But you see, um, so basically the wood area is meant to be the beach. Um, um, I mean, I could put sand there and I just think this is just a little bit different than the regular type of beach, something different. So we will come back when these are dry and assemble the clock parts. Both clocks are dry. And now that all remains to be done is um, this one I've cleaned up the back of. 
you'll get some drips through and the reason I'm laying felt down is I don't want to dent any of the resin. So with the drips on the back of this, you simply get a heat gun. Pull it warm up a bit. And to keep the drips off to make them off very easy. This is a good way to clean up the back of any resin work that you've got the drops on the back. That way, I did burn the felt, but that doesn't matter. And that way, nothing got damaged. So I have, I bought the clock mechanics. I bought two different types. Um, I got them from Michael. You can get them online at Amazon. And I've sold quite a few clocks in the past that I made with old record albums. So I've put that one together. Um, sometimes you just have to adjust these little hands, so make sure it goes all the way around. This one is slightly different. And these will be on my Etsy store. I bought these pieces from Michael's, but you can buy them obviously on Amazon. You can get everything on Amazon. Both of these, so this one's obviously much bigger, bigger hands. So I think on my Etsy store, I'll label them um, big hands, little hands. Um, so they come with a rubber washer on the back take this little tiny screw off and this nut very easy to put together and the clocks even though they, they do come with their own hanger you can hang them there or you can hang them with the um, clock mechanism hanger that goes on there. The little nut goes on here. Okay, finish the two clocks. And as you can see, the hands give them both quite different looks. I haven't put a battery in this one, um, but I'll hang them on the wall and you can see, and they will be on my Etsy store. It'll be ocean, resin ocean clock black hands, resin ocean clock gold hands, and you can try it, choose. And I'm also gonna make some more with some sand at the bottom here. So let's see what they look like on the wall. Here we go. Sorry about the glare. You can probably see my reflection, but that's one of my clocks. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.